again, one of our principles, I think, that we've really adhered to is if you've got a choice between you know, a quality solution that you can kind of build in its entirety, we, we wait to be able to do that rather than necessarily you know, build just the, the obvious solution in and, and hope for the best. Right, 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 right. Well, our extended precision computation is a great example of this. Of, you know, we put a lot of work. And, you know, some people say, well, it's too slow to use software arithmetic. But, you know, with modern computers and modern hardware, GPUs and multi-threaded, multi-core machines, it, it, it gets increasingly, you know, increasingly efficient. And, and just remember, it, it scales. I mean, we put such effort and we have so many different algorithms and things that we switch just the simple task of multiplying two so numbers, numbers together. together. We have so many different algorithms that get used depend upon the size and all sorts of different issues about the context and, and such like of, 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 of the numbers. Yeah, so, so I mean, what we've done is mm -hmm. to optimize how, you know, there are sort of, in a sense, two or three different decisions here, right? right. I mean, there's, there's what's your pick between accuracy and speed? Right, right. That's one right. area. So mm -hmm. you want to, I mean, in a sense, you want to be able to decide that yourself, not be fixed in space right. as to how much you can decide mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. The second issue is given that you've got a decision there, how can you optimize the, the balance there of those two. Right. How right. can you optimize the, the result of those two? And so I guess we've been working on both of those. And then you can even change things either mid calculation or or between different right. cases so right. that you can optimize it, it you know, in its entirety for these different cases. Right.